Okay, so in this video, uh, just very simply, uh, we're going to run some uh, C++ code, so native C++ code in a Google Colab, and really uh, it's just to demonstrate how that might be done. Uh, now I've left a link on, uh, I will leave a link on Vinegar Hill where you can find this code, but basically this is the maths problem that we have. We have a uh, uh, a bond price that is going to pay a coupon each year for three years and a face of a thousand and we want to discount at 5.6 percent per annum so this is the required rate of return and we want to know what the, the price of the bond is we set this up as a c++ estimation uh, we can take the native c++ so basically uh, typically i run this in a c++ compiler and um, it, it would just execute and so on. But with Google Colab, uh, we have to uh, preface the C++ code with this uh, double percentage sign, write file uh, gap main dot cpp. So this is the main in a C++ project. Uh, this would be the main uh, dot cpp file. Uh, if we run that bit of code, um, just compiles and then to get our output we need again that double percentage sign script and bash and then uh, what version of c++ do we want so um, c++ uh, standard 11 we run and we get some output here and because the face value of the bond was 100 the risk-free rate was 10 percent the coupon rate was 10 and frequency was twice a year and the maturity of the bond was three we get 100 now that is correct we know that for sure because the coupon rate and the interest rate are the same so this this is running fine uh, we can then check against the values i have here so six percent coupon 5.6 percent uh r uh, required rate of return thousand dollar face so if I load those values in, I should get 101077. We said this was a 6% coupon, discounting at 5-6%. Uh, and it's um, M here is the number, the frequency of the coupon. So once a year, it's for a three-year period. If I run this, I should get 101077. And let's see here what we get at 101077. So that's consistent with what we have here. If I change the frequency to twice a year, the uh, discounting of the cash flows would look like this over a six year run. So if I just change M to two, I should get 101091. Okay, let's just try that. Change the M, the frequency of compounding to twice a year. We run that, it compiles, then output it and 1,010.91, so that's correct. Now, where did I pick up in this originally? And what if I wanted head, header files? And what if I wanted, um, I should save this. Uh, what if I wanted uh, to put in header files and other source files? Uh, I'm gonna copy that selection and tell you exactly where I got uh, this uh, template from. Um, and there's a, a YouTube video clip as well, but it's um, basically, uh, it's, um, <clears throat> let's go into YouTube here. It's from this, uh, uh, from Kenrick Mock, Kenrick, Henrik Mock, some preliminary information about using Colab and C plus knowledge assumed. Okay. So basically, he just runs through that. It's a very nice video clip. Um, and um, But the main thing that it illustrates is what if you had, for instance, uh, header files, so .h file, a .cpp file, and a .main, so source files, a main, and so on, and you wanted to run. Well, there is a project with header files and with source files and main. Right, and basically you, you follow the same approach. So that's, that's very nice. But in this case, we only required uh, the main. So that's all that went in and it's, it's um, 
this is working uh, just very seamlessly. And of course, what it provides is uh, you have C++ native code that can be executed in the Google Colab. Um, and that's <clears throat> the Google Colab's a nice place to develop um, some coding, to prototype, um, and also to share. Okay, so let's, we'll stop that here.